Hello, my name is Edward, and welcome to a vlog for Virgo, Virgo sun signs, and we're also going to be discussing about ascendant rising signs as well. So, welcome and greetings. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Cheers, and happy birthday, fellow Virgos. Okay, so what prompted this vlog is Friday, September 9th, 2016. The planet Jupiter is entering the astrological sign of Libra. So we had it in, Jupiter was in Virgo a good year, a good year or so. And, you know, the other video, other vlog I discussed, you know, it didn't, it really didn't, it didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to turn out. But when you, when, when I look at it astrologically, I'm sure we all attracted something into our lives that we can deem as a gift from the universe. I know I can. So try try to you know try to look back in the past year or so as there must have been something that you received that is like a gift from the universe. So what Jupiter and Virgo did for us was really take care of our insides. We were lovingly forced to work on ourselves. And I'm not going to kid you. I thought it was going to bring, you know, all these gifts from the universe. I, you know, I thought it was going to be that as well. Well, that's actually coming up, which is why I want to discuss about Jupiter entering the astrological sign of Libra. So the planet Jupiter is luck, expansion, growth, soul growth, soul evolution. And certainly, I don't know one Virgo that would tell me they didn't feel like they went through the coals. <laughs> it wasn't a cakewalk, but it was absolutely necessary. Because now as Jupiter enters Libra, we're going to see the financial rewards. That's, that's going to be great. So... Most astrologers, when they're discussing about this planet is in this house, that planet is in that house for the collective, they're going by what is on our ascendant or rising sign. So if you happen to be Virgo, say it, don't spray it. If you happen to be Virgo rising ascendant like I am and have a Virgo sun sign, then I always say if you have the same ascendant, Rising sign as sun sign, my joke is what you see is what you get, because it's true. But anyway, whatever is on our ascendant rising sign is how we show ourselves to the world. And it's not always the same. How we show ourselves to the world, how we package ourselves, how we market ourselves. So I happen to have Virgo rising. So looking at my chart, all I have to do is look to see, if you if you have your astrological chart, look to see where Libra is in your chart, and then you'll know exactly where Jupiter is going to land in your chart. If you have Virgo rising, it's going to be in your second house at some point. The way my chart is configured, Jupiter actually entered my second house of, of income. Let's see, around mid, around mid-August 2016, but because of Mercury being retrograde, planet Mercury being retrograde, we're not the, the, the rewards are going to be more delayed, and we're going to see more of the rewards when we enter the astrological sign of Libra on September 22nd, there onward. Even more so when we get to the Libra New Moon of Friday, September 30th, 2016, and onward. And keep in mind, we're in the Mercury retrograde shadow through October 5th, 2016, so probably not until after then. But that's okay. We're still going to see it. Now, with Jupiter being... If you have Jupiter in your second house, and if you have Virgo rising, odds are you do. We have to be careful of spending our money as well. So... You know, I I try to be frugal, just like a good Virgo. But, you know, I have my moments, too. So, back in, when the, when the sun entered the astrological sign of, zodiac sign of Cancer, around June 20th, 
I did a reassessment of my finances. What's coming in, what's going out, and I made a vow to save more and spend less. So you might want to do the same because if you do this now, you know, just because more money is coming in doesn't mean we want more money to go out. I mean, we want to, ha we want to have some of it, right? I know personally, I feel better knowing that I have some money saved, not, not because for a rainy day, but just knowing that it's there. And also, energetically, having money put away, saved, also the universe matches it. The universe can match it. So there's a lot of layers there. So I just wanted to pass that on to you. Now, this current Mercury retrograde that is in the sign of Virgo has left us, Virgo sun signs, scattered. I don't know how else to put it. I, you know, I don't like it. I'm sure you don't like it. But we will get through this. But, you know, in Virgo fashion, we get to reform, review, reorganize, re-strategize. And then come October 6th, we're ready we're ready to come out of the gate like um, like a horse uh, waiting to waiting to leave the gate. <laughs> so, what what we have been working on with Jupiter being in Virgo this last year, we've been working on our self worth, self esteem, self confidence, self love. That's what we've been working on, because we're the givers, and we have to learn now. Coming up, we have to learn now to receive. You know, we don't like it when we when we notice other people just take and don't give, right? So if we're doing the opposite, we're just as bad. So life is a constant flow, as it's supposed to be. Okay, give and take, ebb and flow. Let's get into that so we can receive now from the universe, the abundance that, quite frankly, we've earned. <laughs> I know how else to put it. All right, I'm going to end. I think I'm going to end it there. That was basically the notes. Jupiter is going to be in Libra from so technically from September 9th, 2016 through October 9th, 2017, give or take a day. So, we have a good year. And plus some. Okay? So, we're going to increase our bank account. I should say the second house represents income, but it's also the energy of personal freedom. And as far as I'm concerned, personal freedom is having the money to do whatever the heck you want at any time you want. So even though money isn't everything, it certainly helps when you're on planet Earth. So let's, you know, let's put it this way. Last year, we took care of our spiritual bank account by, by working on ourselves, lovingly forced to do so. And then this year, let's cash in. <laughs> All right? All right. So I hope you enjoyed that and resonated. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. And I will see you, see you soon for either the, I'll probably do another vlog for the Pisces full moon lunar eclipse of September 16th. All right. So until next time we connect, you be well, take care, and thanks for joining us.